Oprah. Hi. Um, what I'm calling about to say is I don't think I'm prejudiced, but if I would get on a bus and this gentleman, the first gentleman with the hair, would sit next to me, the Edward. way he's dressed, no, no, he's no you, oh, <laughs> um, I would grab my purse and probably move to another seat. It's because of his looks. It's scary. <laughs> That's because, it, that's she because it, it's out of her culture. Well, that's interesting. Clarify, madam, what you're saying. What does the word scary mean? Oh, uh, gee, I don't know. Uh, well, now would be a very good time to figure it out. Well, what does the word scary mean? That is my question. Well, you would frighten me. The, I understand that. General. What does the word scary mean? Or, same question, why? Would I frighten you? I haven't been in a fight well, since I was in I eighth think, grade. Well, you're probably not normally dressed up in a suit. Um, you just look like your tough guy. If she went to you Jamaica, see, if see, she uh, went to Jamaica, she'd be frightened all the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, madam, let me then answer the question. So, what is it? Is it because of the, because of the way he's dressed, the color of his skin, or his hair? Is it his hair? And, yes. So, yes. And I'm sure he's not always dressed in a suit. Uh, you know, he helps. So, does that mean you're frightened of all men who are not dressed in suits? No. Okay. No. That, it's just the garb I think that would scare me. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, this is interesting, madam. Let me then advance this point. I speak of the old racism, which was pre-Dr. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. I then speak of the new racism. One of the things you have to understand about racists or about yourself is racists are inherently intellectual cowards. They won't come out and say, I hate niggers because I hate niggers. Story over. What they will do is take pseudo-facts. They will take facts that are not true and use that as the intellectual pyramid to come to a conclusion that is inaccurate. If you actually want to talk about the statistics, if you are afraid of me on that bus, I don't ride on buses, because you think I'm going to murder you, there is no statistical basis for that. You are more likely to be murdered by your husband, by your son, by your brother. If you are afraid of me sitting next to you on that bus that I don't ride on, because you are afraid that I'm going to rape you, statistically, your boyfriend, your husband, is more probably going to be the rapist. So I'm saying you are the manifestation of the new racism, and you have used the same pseudo-intellectual statistics to construct a racist position. Thank you, caller. I'm sure you didn't know you did all that with one phone call. <laughs>